anyway, welcome to Gail's Garden Herbs and More. I want to, I had a battle injury yesterday and battle with the wasp and uh, my hand swelled up pretty good. I'm going to show you that shortly, but first, <coughs> excuse me, um, well, maybe you can see. I don't know if you can tell how swollen it is because I've got to hold the camera with the other. But it is really, really swollen and it hurts. But um, anyway, last night I did all kinds of stuff. I, um, I in the middle of the night, I didn't get much sleep. I had something else bothering me too. but So I really didn't get much sleep, of a, hardly any at all. And, um, but I was trying to, I had woke up, I started, fell asleep for a little bit, and then kind of a, not really asleep, but you know, that in between. Finally, I said, oh, this is ridiculous. So I got up and I put some little water and some baking soda and put a lot of times that'll help. And then wrapped it with, um, wasn't an ace bandage, it's the, um, you know, the thin material that you, and you use the medical tape and tape it on. But that didn't work. I, after a while, I went and took that off and washed it off. Finally, I just put ice on it. That helped a little bit. I, I was able to go to sleep this morning. Probably finally went to sleep maybe 4.30 or 5 this morning. And then back up by around 6, I guess. I tried essential oils this morning. That wouldn't work. Other types of oils, that didn't work. Chewed on some basil. Put that on for a minute. That didn't work. I think I tried that part yesterday and it didn't work. Um, that wasn't this morning. It was yesterday when it right after it happened. Usually I can put something on like that and it'll help, but it didn't this time. It just keeps swelling. But so then this morning I, um, I went to make a poultice, and um, I had to cut it off before I even gave it a chance. Nothing else worked much. I wasn't able to really give the poultice a chance because. I had to water. It's like 105, 110, whatever it's going to get up to. It's really, really been hot this week and getting hotter each day. I had found more silk on my corn. I had to oil that. I couldn't do all that and water and all that with that poultice. So I had to cut it off. But I want to show you how I made it. I've got it laying in there, what I cut off. But let me show you the plants first. First, I cut some echinacea leaves. Um, some of the flower might have been good, too. But I only cut some of the leaves off. Okay, now this is feverfew. And I cut some of the leaves in that. You can use the flowers too, but I didn't. Um, they're just starting to open. They're so pretty. So I just cut some of the leaves. Um, feverfew is supposed to be helpful with pain. A lot of people use it for headaches. But um, pain in general has some things that might help. But I thought, well, I'll try that. And then... I grabbed some nasturtium leaves because nasturtium is um, kind of an antibiotic and in case my hand get infected or something and I'm sure that it's also anti-inflammatory as well. So I put that, seems like I put something else. But anyway, anything like these type of things you can make a poultice with, comfrey or whatever. Comfrey is more for like... Um, I think more like skin breaks or uh, bone breaks and that kind of thing. That probably could have. It, it might have helped. I don't know if comfrey would help with the swelling. It helps with a lot of things. I probably should have put some comfrey in it because it probably would have helped. I may try that in my next poultice. The swelling doesn't let up some, but it's just so hard to do anything. Uh, really is hard. So I took all that stuff. Okay. This is the poultice that I cut off. Uh, part of it I dropped in the floor because I was trying to do all this one-handed. But what you do is I took that those leaves and stuff that I got, and they're kind of dry. I put them in my food processor and ground them up. I had to add a little bit of water to get them moist. And then you put this... My hand is hard to work. But you put this, half of it dropped in the floor. But what I had left, I probably needed more. I put on top of my swollen hand here and then I laid the cloth this cloth over the top of that and then I wrapped the whole thing in the plastic wrap and then I took this and I wrapped it around it and then I taped it on with the tape 
but I never, I couldn't leave it on long enough to see if it would help um, because I had to cut it off. I had to get stuff water because it's so hot right now, um, up in the way up in the hundreds. So I wasn't able to leave it on for very long. Um, but I want to show you a couple things. Um, while I'm talking, I want to show you some pretty things. I hate to end. That old poultice looks so ugly. But you know, some of you may need to use it sometime. You may need a poultice. And I wanted to show you. And you need to just try and do it, even if it's a minor thing, just to get the practice of using one if, in case you have an emergency. Um, you never know what's going to happen. And like I said, you can try, even if you can't remember the herbs that I told you, just some plant leaves and herbs, or look it up, Google it real quick, and go try to find what leaves you have and grind them up and put them on you. Now that there, that's not the wasp. There was some wasp there earlier. That's a real bee, which the last few days I've been seeing some real bees get in there, and I'm excited about that. They don't seem to bother me much like the wasp do. The wasps are uh, much more aggressive than a bee. With the wasp sting, I wanted to tell you, ah, there's one there and there's one over there. Do you see him? Where did he go? Oh, here's some. There's a, there must be a nest around here. Oof. Um, I wonder why my leaves are yellowing. I didn't probably because it's so freaking hot and unusually hot especially for this time of year um i won't get anaphylaxic the anaphylaxic shock or whatever you call it because i'm pretty sure it was a wasp that got me um trying to show you the wasp now you could from a bee sting from what i understand but not from the wasp from the wasp, it will swell. You can't even get to the part where you can vomit, but you won't get go into the anti the flaxic shock. I'm sorry, I'm not seeing right. Bear with me. I didn't sleep much. <laughs> okay, there's one. Can you see it on my little fountain? That is the culprit. I'm pretty sure that's the culprit that got me, or, or one of his cousins or brothers or or whatever. Um, we've been knocking out nests, but they're still everywhere. You can't always find all their nests. Anyway, um, yeah, if you Google it, find what you have, grind them up and put them on. Try a poultice. Poultices are great. Um... I haven't used them a whole lot, but I have used them a few times, and um, I know they're good. They've been used down through history and really helped a lot of people, so I just kind of want to end with that, make this a short video. I wanted to share with you about and encourage you to use a poultice if you need to. We need to learn how to doctor ourselves in case we can't get to a doctor, but anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend coming up. Um, God bless. Bye-bye.